Jason gave. Now we have gone through this, we built it from scratch. Um, we had a look at assigning variable values, we looked at loops, we looked at uh, drawing out a flowchart, and today we're going to follow through that process. Now I've got a new microphone, so the audio may need a bit of tweaking, and I've also put these on, so um, looking a little bit more professional, but we're getting there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so random number guessing day. So most programs have input some processing and some output. Now we generally do a little bit of process to start with. And that's the your game setup. So we're going to set up our game, same as we did in Scratch, where we had um, a computer guess, a player guess, and we had a minimum and maximum value. So in Python, we give a variable a name, we use the equal sign, which we call the assignment. So we assign a value, and then we give it a value. So we're going to have our minimum value. Now this is this variable here is written in what we call camel case. So it's lowercase, starts with lowercase, and has a capital for the second word. And we're going to use the assignment operator. We're going to give it a value of 1. And we're going to have our max value. And we're going to say 10. We're going to have a compute. Say the computer choice is equal to zero and the player is equal to zero. So that's setting it up. Now, because we it's a random number guessing game, we actually have to import um, some functionality into Python. And we do that by importing or import random. And that gives us a whole bunch of um, functionality to do with random numbers and random things. So let's start off with, we're going to introduce the game. So we're going to go print, so we know how to print stuff. Um, number number guessing game. So we're going to print. So we're going to actually ask for a guess. 
So to do that, we're going to have, we've got this variable player choice, and we've got computer choice. So we're going to go computer choice is equal to, and this is where we use random, and we use a function in random called rand int, and we're going to use our minimum value and our min value and max. And you might have noticed the mistake I've made, and you're probably yelling at me, going, hey, Mr. Roberts, you made a mistake. And I'm going, dude, you're talking to a video. I can't hear you. So keep talking to the video, keep pointing out mistakes, but just realize I can't actually hear you because I recorded this in the past, and you're in the future watching this. So just chill. Um, if I make a mistake, that's OK. I'll generally pick them up and fix them, and people do make mistakes. And it's important to see how we fix mistakes. So we've got this computer choice, um, and we can actually um, assign a random number, random integer value, which is a whole number, between 1 and 10 into this variable here. So we want to grab our player choice. So we go player choice equals, and we want a number, so it's an integer, and we're going to say input guess. Ooh, let's say what is your guess. Space, close quote, close bracket. And because we've got int, open bracket, input, open bracket, we need to actually close those brackets twice. So we've got my choice here. So <coughs> now, we want to actually loop over and see if player choice is equal to, um, well, while they're not equal to, we're going to keep asking this. So while the computer choice is not equal to the player choice, we're going to keep saying get input another guess, input another guess. So we're going to use another while loop. So while computer choice is not equal to our player choice, and we're going to indent this, we're going to say player choice. Now this is where put some logic in. So we're going to actually say, we're going to test to see if we're correct. We're going to go, if player choice is equal to um, computer choice, we're going to say, we're going to print something out. We're going to say, well done, well done, and we're going to ask if you want to well done. Good job. Well done. And you win. So nice. So then we're going to ask the player if they want to play again. So we're going to use a variable. We're going to create a new one. Again equals. And we want to input. Do you want to play again? Question mark space. Close quote. Close bracket. And if again is equal to, so 2 is equal to, is equal to, and if it's equal to no, so we don't want to play again, we're going to break out of this loop, so we're going to break out by setting game over to true, we're going to say game over equals true, so if um, again equals anything except for a lowercase n, it's going to just keep looping. So we can be case insensitive, so uppercase N. Um, we can go lower, so that's if we put in a capital N, this will make it lowercase. And we'll check it. So capital case N, lowercase N. So if play choice is equal to that, so if it's not, <coughs> we're going to go else. So if player choice is not equal to that, we're going to say print wrong, and it's going to keep going through. Now, I think we're nearly done, and just so that when we drop out of the 
this game over work. So we don't want to play again, but we're going to just be friendly. We're going to say print. Thanks for playing. Good. Bye. So let's test that. So let's save that. So I'm going to save it in. Let me put that in year seven. And this is number guess, guessing. And we'll save that. So we're in. I'm going to think about it. 1 and 10. What is your guess? 4. Wrong. 3. Wrong. 2. Wrong. 1. Wrong. 5. Wrong. Great job. Well done. You win. I'm awesome. Do you want to play again? Yes. 4. 5. 6. No. So that seems to work. So that's pretty good. So there's a couple of things that um, we test. So I think, what's your guess? If I put that it's going to break. It's a value error. Invalid neutral for int with base 10. So it's trying to convert that to an integer. And that is right here. Now, this is where um, we're going to be a bit defensive. And this is a good programming um, practice. User input, we're going to try and make it so it doesn't break. So what we're going to say is we're going to try to convert player choice to that and we're going to go accept accept the spell properly accept and we're going to use this value error so accept for a value error and we're going to say print invalid input okay so we might we can do all sorts of things um, so we'll leave, we'll leave it at that for now just to show you so what is your guess that invalid input you're wrong so what is your guess 123 no Not two one three four five six seven Eight. You win. Do you want to play again? Yes. Wrong. Oh, so now this is um, there's a couple other things to fix up in that, but that is the basis of our number guessing game. So part two. Um, well, I'll explain. We we set up our game. So we set minimum value, maximum value, computer choice, player choice, and we set up this value for game over. Our main game loop which goes all the way down to here is while game over is not it is false so it's not true so we're going to say number guessing game and then we generate a random number and this is going to happen each time we go through the loop and then we're going to ask the user for input and we're going to change it to an integer and then there. and we looked at what happens when you put a um, string value and convert it to an integer it throws out a value error and here we can actually try to do this if we get a value error it's going to print invalid input and then we did a decision if the player choice is equal to computer choice print well good job well done you win and we ask the player if they want to play again and if they say no um, we can say game over equals true and that will come down here and I'll come back up here, is game over false? No, it's not false, it's true. And it won't execute the loop and it'll say thanks for playing, goodbye. So that's our number guessing game. Um, and I'm going to do a second video where I'm going to do a couple of extensions.